Hello everyone, I'm Shadesville, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Last time we successfully landed at the Mooner Signal, but failed to get our poor, poor uh, Burbs B. Kerman back. He is out here. He's not in deep space like the other one is. Um, let's see, can we... Vessels. Uh, you. No. You. No. You? Huh. I could have swore that I sensed- Yeah, you! Right here, the fly safe. They're stuck out in deep space, basically. Uh, focus. Oh. Yeah, you. Warmy. Warmy. Warmy Kerman. Out here in her little pod is stuck just orbiting just off of uh, the plane of Urban's orbit. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. But we are, we are, arg, we are going to try and save uh, Burbsby. Oh, that counted as our escaping carbon, because we switched to her. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll submit that. Thank you. The crew must have a glorious tan. Yeah, no. <laughs> the latter did indeed survive. Sun roasted popcorns. <laughs> Collected. All right, Mooner signal. Turn it in. Yes, we're back. Kinda. I, yeah, you have the visuals, but no samples. Yes. There's a pattern, yes. They look like the planets, yes. Thanks, science. Wheeling and dealing. Lightyear Tire Company has been trying to convince us to test their new tires. I'm not really into tires, but after 45 of my cease and desist letters bounced back, I decided it would be easier to comply. Let's slap some wheels on a vessel and launch it. Peer pressured science is still science. Launch a vessel with four wheels. Alright, that's easy enough. Let's make a rover and go around the um, space station. Um, space center. Static over Minmus. We aren't sure if it's another signal. Get into orbit with an antenna. Orbit a probe with an antenna above Minmus. Okay. Track mission, mission brief. Yep, guess what? Nice. Carrie, you must stop. The Kerbal Dietitian track was never meant to harness the energy of a small sun. Ha! Ah! Nice try. Ooh. <laughs> Am I capable of teleportation? Do other planets revolve around me? The other directors just think that this is all a phase, but I'm clearly not a moon. <laughs> oh, my God. Those were some good dad jokes right there. Good science dad jokes. Yes. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right, let's head to R&D. We got ourselves some developments. 447 science worth of developments. So we can go medium launchers. More power! I mean, we, we, 
we made it to the moon off our current setup, so that's pretty cool. Still don't think I know how to use fuel lines correctly. Oh wait, is that why? These are not retractable because they're not- Once deployed, cannot be retracted. Oh! But these are retractable. Oh, you see, I was getting so mad at those solar panels. I thought I was doing something wrong. Oof. Okay. I kind of want this, but I kind of want this. I don't really care about that. I don't really care about that. And I don't really care about that, except that it gets me, you know, more stuff. I want that. I want that. And I want that. I can only have one. Atmospheric science guarantees me more science. Yep, let's do it. Yay, thank you. All right, let's go build a rover. Yeah, let's go build a rover with uh, a nose cone on it and a science junior. Junior. All right, so we want to know. We want this. And we want... Guidance unit. Um, da, 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 da. Battery. Solar pan. Structural stuff. Yep, something like that. That's that's too big. Yeah, something like that. And L. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. There it was. Yes. Something kind of like that, and then that, and then like that. Yeah, oh, oh, um, yeah.
Yeah. I am indeed building a bike. It's a good bike. And it's going to have training wheels. Actually, I probably need a bigger solar panel to run this. Let's be honest here. Okay. Now, science. Nose cone. Okay. Um, little sniffer. Science Junior. Oh, this thing's probably getting a little top heavy. Let's bring it down to there. Let's uh, move the little sniffer to there. Um... Um... Rove. Sure. And we are going to save it in land vehicle all right I'll launch it you seem to be okay let's attract the gears. Okay, recover vessel. I don't think that counted anyways, because it should have popped up just me launching it. Why wheels no work? Why wheels no go? Hmm. I don't think tires work the way I think they work. Forward go. Come on. I want forward go. Huh? Not using any electrical charge, so they, they are not receiving power. Uh, invert steering. Invert the steering. Come on. Drive it. Can I drive it? Oh, it's going. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, I think all that's happening is a physics failure. Okay. So, this was a flop, as it flops around. All floppy-like. Recover. Oh well. I don't think I have the wheels it's talking about anyways. Because those were landing gears, not tires. So I think I have not unlocked what they want me to have. Okay, so we are going to build something a little different to go rescue our buddy. Dubbin, you have been selected. You're gonna ride in the tuna can? On our rescue mission. Shield, a stack decoupler, locking port. I might start putting docking ports on the tips of all my ships just to make rescuing people easier. <laughs> uh, that's supposed to be funny, but gosh darn it if it isn't the truth. Um, feetsies, feetsies, feetsies. Oh, actually, parachutes. This thing's going to be heavy. Let's do that. Hopefully this doesn't rip apart from that. Mm, feetsies. give it a single antenna just because. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, nope, nope. Rescue vehicle is ready. There we go. Nah, nah, not rescue vehicle, rescue can. Rescue can, can do. Is going to be saved in I think I have too many of those saved now. <laughs> uh, now this isn't for science, so I'm not even gonna bother taking science with me.
I'm just thinking we're going to have to be doing a lot of maneuvering to get into the same orbit as him, get intercepted with him, and then rescue him. That's probably overkill, but well, <laughs> there's no kill like overkill. <laughs> As is our huge. No. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah. No, oh, I'm seeing a problem. Huh? Everything was a little off center. Don't want off center. No off center. Nope. Nope. Back on. Yep. Nope. Yep. No off center. Why? That's right, okay. Then the magic of struts. Never forget. that alone would be enough. I, I actually don't think these six would have enough power. But let's see. Watch. We are probably going to need those boosters. But we'll see. at the right rate, but it's burning through the fuel too fast. I think it's going to run out too early in the atmosphere. Let's see though. Maybe not. We are approaching 10,000. Can I start turning over?
turned over too early, it looks like. Oh, that's okay. We'll burn from here, push that up to out of the atmosphere. is probably good enough. Over. You look so worried. Like her pupils are blown out, her eyes are wide, she's looking everywhere. Boy. Alright, come on. Point at it. I have to start the burn in just a second. I don't know why the maneuver node went stupid. Like, why was it putting me back into the atmosphere like that?
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I think I screwed up. I mean, I am speeding up, but it's far too slow. I'm gonna burn through this entire fuel tank. basically just hovering around the planet right now. I am speeding up, it's just it's not enough. I guess we did have to test its landing capabilities, right? Alright, Dubbin, are you gonna survive this or was this pointless? Looks like it's gonna land in the water, so that should be a nice easy landing. I am blocking her exit. Uh, I did not realize that. Yep, they will have to manually remove that parachute before she can leave. Uh, uh. Yeah, no. Going way too fast. This pod will probably burn up in the atmosphere, losing Dubbin. Uh, I'm sorry, Dubbin. Oh, look how sad she is. There's the flames. Let's see how she do. That is some rapid deceleration too. Our last 300 meters per second. Looks like she gets to survive. But we might be landing on that island peninsula thing. I'm not sure. Uh, so, feet deploy. Nah, uh, we're landing in the water.
right, so that was too much parachute. <laughs> but at least it's a safe landing. Yeah, I'll probably only do four parachutes when I remodel it. Dubbin survived. <sighs> Reload the rescue can. All right, so this rocket is heavier than the one that went to the moon and that one needed at least six boosters well two sets of six is how I should put it to successfully make it to the moon I'm gonna see if just six twelve is enough if not we can always change it up a little and add more to remodel this. Up it down to four. This time don't lock the door. There we go. Okay. So I definitely believe that this thing can get into orbit. These are all on the same stage, that's a problem. There we go. There we go. That's a good point, RCS. to wait is less than one of course we are going back to add more oh no no not like that though 
I mean, we last week. This wouldn't work. There we go. And we will one Same thing. Oh no, 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 that's not good. Does it still? It thinks it still does. I think it's wrong. Yeah, it thinks it still has less than a threat to, thrust to a weight of one. I think it's wrong. I think this will launch fine. I think it'll be beautiful. If I didn't just totally screw up the AI yeah, did. So these will go, then these will go, then these will go, then these will drop, these will drop, and then these will drop. Alright. Should work, Derby. I mean, they're slightly at different heights, but that's okay. Go! No, just go. Not strong enough to lift off. Alright. Next set. Mm, we're going. We're going. Ha! To wait less than one. Ah. Once the first set is about halfway down, I'll trigger the last set. And then we'll really start picking up some speed. 18 of these solid fuel engines going at once. Should have fired them a lot earlier. Oh. Okay. Yep. Can you survive it? Nope. Okay. Bye, Dr. Dubbin. See how that is just ever so slightly higher than the others? Don't fix that right now. I being Alright, so that was one of the problems. 
that singular problem is now fixed. So it looks like it needs new struts. Did all the struts disappear? No, not all of them, just uh, most of them. Yeah. Okay. So let's restrut some stuff. Pump. And right up. Pump. Right up. Pump and then right up. Alright, I don't know why some of the struts vanished and others didn't, but hey. It is all now stratified. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Alright, one last try at this. For this episode. Alright, Malby, hey, great to have you back with us. Wait, what? Where where where'd Dubbin go? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We we just chose you to be the new uh um rescue operative. And no turning over this time. Like, I, I want this going as high and as fast as possible. why that just happened trying to correct it but all I'm doing is keeping it from going any further it looks like just happened there. I'm not entirely sure what just happened there.
no idea why that just happened. Well, okay, I, I have an idea. For some reason, my throttle was at zero and I didn't realize. So basically, I double staged. Basically in the last stage, annoyingly enough. Oh, I'm finding that inclination. Basically enough that I'm not going back into the atmosphere with on the nav ball should be good. Maybe. Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, okay, we're definitely falling now. So this poodle engine right here is too weak. I'm probably going to have to replace this with the other one. The... whatever it's called. I really don't actually remember what it's called. Okay, so yeah, just turn all the way over. Let's see if we can do anything at all to save this. Probably not.
It's not spreading in the slightest. I'm officially back into the atmosphere. Saved a bit the Maldi's life again. was a failure and I'm not I'm not sure why my throttle was at zero during that but still I now can conclusively say that the poodle on that second to last stage not strong enough we're gonna have to switch it for the other one the swivel or whatever it was <sighs> oh well Alright, Malby. All you gotta do is land the sucker. So, three attempted rescues in a single mission, one resulting in the death of the rescuer, and the other two resulting in failures to even orbit. Oh boy. That is it for today guys maybe next time i'll have my thinking brain on and we can actually design a rocket that can rescue or burbsby billsby burbsby 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 yeah burbsby well see you guys next time have a good one Bye bye